Hello, my name is Jan Lindhardt. I'm the owner of Health Squared USA, that is health number two, USA.com. We are the proud North American distributors and repair facility of Positive Energy Corporation's water electrolysis equipment. In this presentation, you will see items, important reasons to drink water that has been altered by the water electrolysis machine. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. At the end of it, you will have learned something new. Thank you for watching this presentation. Hello and welcome back again. In this part of the presentation, I wish to go over the various functions and their use. I'm going to start with alkaline water number one. Alkaline water number one is predominantly for drinking. And that is when you're beginning out drinking alkaline water, this is a good place to start. Now let's zoom in on the actual features uh, on the display. I still have a 9.8 pH, a negative ORP at 506 millivolts. Now you'll notice that we have a filter meter tells you the filter life of the equipment. We also have a filter 2 and a filter 3 in case you needed external filters. It shows you the flow rate which right now is 1.8 liters per minute. It also shows you the temperature which is right now 23 degrees centigrade. More important it shows you the pH which is 9.8 and ORP which is negative 506. Okay, now I wish to show you the alkaline number two. Alkaline number two is a level of drinking that you want to build up to. You don't necessarily want to start out with alkaline number two. As you can see, the uh, ORP and the pH is much higher, about tenfold, about ten times higher than what you get in alkaline number one. So it's something that you want to build up to. Now let's take a closer look at the display. In alkaline number two, you'll notice that I have 10.9 pH, negative 634 millivolts, or ORP reading. Okay, now we're back again. I now want to change it over to alkaline number three. Alkaline number three is absolutely phenomenal. At this point, this is mainly used for rinsing herbicides and pesticides. Because of all those are oil-based, otherwise they would wash off in the first rain, you want to use the high pH like we have here. At 12.0, it is by far the highest that I've seen anywhere. Now let's zoom in on it and take a look. As you can see here, I am obviously in alkaline number three mode because I have a 12.0 pH with a negative 890 ORP. You also see that my flow rate is 1.8 liters per minute and my temperature is 24 degrees. Pretty amazing, wasn't it? Well, this was only part of what this machine can do. I now want to show you what it can do on the acidic side and why that's important. We can start with acidic number one. Acidic number one is essentially an astringent because it has the same pH as your skin. So it'll clean up your pores and clean up your skin uh, and that's mainly what that's for. Let's take a closer look at it to show you the real numbers in real time. We're now dropping all the way down to 3.5 pH with a positive ORP reading of 749 millivolts. This is now extremely corrosive. Now that was pretty amazing, wasn't it? Now that was just one of the acidic levels. And it of course is beeping at us to remind us that we should not be drinking this water. We're now switching over to acidic number two. This is a very, very important setting. And the reason that is, is that nothing can exist in 2.0 pH. Uh, it is just a little bit below Coca-Cola, which is 2.3. It is about two points above battery acid and one point above your stomach acid. 
That's important because you can literally kill bacteria in a matter of minutes. We take our meat and we rinse it in underneath the stream of 2 pH water that kills any bacteria that might be on the meat. And then we turn over and we rinse it in the high pH water. Now let's take a closer look at the display on the 2 pH water. Obviously at pH 2.0 an ORP reading of positive 874, this water would be very corrosive if you put that on top of metal, it will make it rust much faster. Whereas if you're utilizing the 12.0 water, it would actually protect the metal from rusting. That is the phenomenal part about this particular machine. Now that's pretty amazing, wasn't it? The fact that you can use water to sterilize things. The fact that you can sterilize surgical instruments with 2.0 water. The fact that you can wash off the salmonella or any other uh, deadly bacteria on the surface of things in a matter of 30 seconds. Now the next button I'm going to show you is the purified water. Now the light screen. Purified water is also very important and the reason for that is if you are taking time release medication you don't want to take it with electrolysis water for the very simple reason that the small clusters in the electrolysis water will break down your time release medication faster and you'll end up with an overdose. So the idea is half hour before you take a medication and wait till a half hour after. Those are the times you can drink the uh, higher pH water uh, that has been generated by your water electrolysis machine. So you can see how the purified water really can be beneficial. Now I'll turn it back to alkaline number two because what I want to show you is the button for the alkaline hot water. The first thing I want to do is regulate the temperature on the incoming water to the point where it is probably about a little above lukewarm. There we go. Now that's a, a good essentially body temperature. I'll now divert it through the machine and we'll see the temperature climbing up from 24 degrees. So I'm right around uh, the temperature that you have when you have a fever, 41 degrees. Now I'm going to turn on the heater. The heater will now engage and it will raise the temperature. I have preset the machine, as you may have known if you watched the setup instructions, I have preset the machine to the point that it needs to stop at 60 degrees, which is about 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So now we're climbing, 54, 55, and at this point it is much, much warmer than I can stick my finger under. That of course is ideal if you want to make an instant uh, cereal, or you want to make an instant hot soup, like maybe you want some hot chocolate or something like that. So that's for the purpose of the heaters. I'm going to turn the heater off and I'm going to watch the temperature climb back down again as I switch it over to cold. Okay, the water has now returned to regular cold temperature on alkaline number two. I now want to, if the light comes on down here, it'll tell you that it's time for cleaning. What it does when it's time for cleaning, it'll reverse the polarity on the plates. So the ones that were alkaline now becomes acidic in case there is some buildup, hard water deposit buildup on the plates. And it'll tell you to do that every so often after so many liters of performance. So you turn it on. You wish, listen to the, it's a small world after all, and it's going to play that for a while. And when it's done, it's going to return to the previous setting that you had. Okay, and now you can see it has returned to regular alkaline number two. You heard that little beep beep? You want to wait until you hear that. That's an indication that the water is now ready to be consumed. Now thank you for watching this part of the presentation, and have a nice day.